Hi everyone, in this lab we're gonna make a continuous map of PM 2.5 or fine particulate matter for the entire state of Ohio as an application of GIS in management of air quality data set. So let's, uh, in the first step, let's Google EPA air quality data. So open up your browser and then Google EPA air quality data so and then click on download daily data so here we're gonna make a map based on PM 2.5 so the pollutant PM 2.5 for the year 2018 because 2019 is still not complete data set so the most recent version of the data is 2080 for the whole year and the geographic area Ohio and we want to have all of the monitoring sites so click on get data and then download CSV So you need to click on show in folder and then copy the data into your lab 7 folder and paste it here. So let's change the name of this to PM2.5. Don't use the point PM25 underscore OH. So now uh, let's open this CSV file. so uh you can see we have uh, almost fifteen thousand records of data so uh, because the data are daily data and each station so we have a variety of stations in ohio that record the data daily so for each station we have uh, almost daily data sometimes we have uh, three days three days for example for this one three days three days we have so many uh, stations that uh, record the data and some of them are daily some of them are after a few days so in a equal interval they record the data so what we're looking for is daily mean pm 2.5 concentration and also daily air quality index and we also have the latitude and longitude right so for example for west union the latitude and longitude is the same right so what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna have the yearly data so for this one for west union i'm gonna have the average of the pm 2.5 for the entire year and also the average of the aqi for the for the entire year and also for the uh, this uh, station we also need the average for the entire year of the PM 2.5 and AQI so what we should do we have to use a function with the name of subtotal so uh, first of all before using that function let's uh, select this site name and then sort it so go to the data and then click on sort from lowest to highest and then sort so it sorts the data and after that select all of your data okay so control a and all of the data so uh, the next step is to in this tab data tab you have to go to the subtotal and we're gonna uh, classify the data so that for each uh, station we have the average the yearly average of the AQI and also the yearly average of the PM 2.5 so here we have, we have to select the uh, based on which field based on site name so based on site name we're gonna have daily mean PM 2.5 so I check this and also daily AQI and I'll also need the latitude and longitude okay then click OK so let's see what happened 
so if you go to the second tab you can see we have the so uh, something that was wrong is that uh, when you go to the subtotal you have to select the average instead of the sum okay and then click ok so now if you go to the second tab you can see we have the average for each site for the daily AQI for the daily mean PM 2.5 and also the latitude and longitude which is the same average of all of them all of the same value so it doesn't have any influence so taking the average so uh, the next step is to I need to bring the data into a new data set and based on latitude and longitude I can bring it into GIS but what is the problem the problem is that this data is based on so many fields okay based on for example 1 to 30 records sorry so uh, if I copy this for example if I copy this into a file new blank so what happens the, the problem is it has 15 records 15,000 record but I only need the subtotal these values okay so uh, what we can do is first of all we need to convert this to the values okay so if I copy this field and then here if I instead of paste so again copy and then I use paste values okay so I have these values and also for the latitude and longitude copy these values here paste values so the next thing is let's let's remove this field so uh, the next thing is I have to now I can use the filter and only select these fields I only s these records okay the average so uh, one thing that I can do is that if I only select this blank cells in this field uh, it shows me this the, uh, the average right so uh, I can put the data and then filter 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 out this field based on the blank and then okay so what happens I only have the average okay so I can now uh, select all of these values Oops. instead of the grand average we don't need the grand average so that's for the, the average for all of these locations so copy that and paste it in a, another shapefile so another sorry Excel so now we have the average right and it's only based on the 55 stations okay so we don't need the unit so it did a very good job for us we couldn't do that without the unit okay so you have to select the values uh, that are unique all of the averages so uh, the other thing is we need to remove the word average because we're gonna put a label based on the site name so how can I remove the word average so uh, we need to write a query so here we need to write a query that I only want from the left part and use tabs so when you write the left and then uh, push the tab button so from this field and uh, based on the lengths of the field again you have to select Len of the this field minus so I have to I'm gonna remove one two three four five six seven eight so to remove this eight characters of this one so what happened now we can see that I remove the word average okay so from the left part so we remove the uh, eight characters which is common in all of this field so we have to remove the word average and also the space after that so uh, now I can apply this 
for all of the fields okay if I click on this one I can apply the formula for all of them so this one is so much better so I can type site underscore name so because I'm gonna import this into ArcGIS so do not use the space and then I can remove this field or I can copy here and then paste values Oops. yes then delete so uh, everything looks good uh, the only thing that you should do is that so this one is not good for importing to GIS so I just and it's not daily PM yearly is a better name and do not use a space Okay, PM yearly daily so I type just AQI air quality index the average air quality index we have so, so this one also should be yearly site name site latitude and longitude so we can easily bring the data into GIS so let's save the data as a CSV file in H JS Lab Lab 7 with the name of PMAQI 2018 OH Ohio. So uh, now we can. Oops, one thing that I forgot is that this one should be based on based on CSV file, right? so comma separated value and then save yes. now we can remove it so we have pm aqi 2018 so uh, let's launch your arc map So and then at the counties of Ohio, I think we have county information from lab six. So I add the county Ohio here, and then I add this CSV that I just prepared, uh, PM AQI. And so uh, the next thing is I have to geocode the value, display X Y data. Okay, so if I click on display X Y, so X field is your longitude y field is your latitude and z is based on so you don't need that but you need to uh, you need to tell arcmap the coordinate system let me look at the values or i can look at the values from here so the values are latitude and longitude and uh, okay so geographic coordinate system because it's latitude and longitude it's not based on meter it's a decimal degree value so display x y data and then x is longitude y is latitude geographic coordinate system north america uh, 1983 so that's a that's a very good option because because when we add the counties of ohio so it's kind of got the information or the coordinate system from this one so that's a good option and then click OK so you can see the location of the uh, of the stations that record the information of the air quality so you can see here we have so many stations but here we don't have any stations so uh, question is for example how what is the air quality index and PM in these stations okay so we only have the data for a specific point so we need to create a raster a continuous surface for this right so uh, to do that we need to use interpolation so the interpolate between the points so and then change these points to the continuous surface so if you open up your arc toolbox and then uh, you need to find the interpolation and then a spatial analysis tools interpolation and then IDW inverse distance weighting 
so uh, it requires the license so we need to before that we need to go to the customize extensions and then check the spatial analysis and then close and now it works because we need to activate the license first so here your point feature will be this one pm and your z value where you're gonna make a map based on the pm 2.5 right so so pm yearly is okay so where you want to save it in lab 7 with the name of pm uh, 2017 2018 of pm 2018 ohio so underscore oh and then output cell size so we accept this uh, default values okay and to the environment you can go to the raster analysis and set the mask to uh, counties of Ohio and then OK and OK so what happens so you need to change the order of the layer so it changed uh, uh, the points to the to continuous surface but it can't do that because we don't have any data we, it, this process cannot extrapolate so it can only interpolate between the points so here you can see higher uh, concentration of the PM so in these areas you can change the symbology to for example five classes natural breaks okay and then maybe use this color so here we have higher concentration of the PM here also we have higher concentration but these areas we have a lower concentration of pm okay so that's the map of pm 2.5 and also we need to do this for the hui air quality index if you uh, the z value that you want to make a map is now aqi yearly so this time that will be aqi aqi underscore 2018 underscore oh and save and uh, again raster analysis mask counties okay and okay again change the classification five natural break classification okay apply but let's flip the symbol so that's very similar to this one so here you can also you can compare pm and aqi so that's very interesting that uh, aqi and pm are highly correlated to each other right so because aqi is is made one of the one of the important pollutants in the aqi is pm so that's why we have high correlation between these two maps so uh so you have to go to the to the layout view and then and then make two maps the first one for the aqi which is this one and the other one is for so uh, you need to insert data frame and also one of them is for pm the other one for is for aqi okay so uh, you can create the map based on both of them that shows the air quality index yearly air quality index for the year 2018 yearly uh, pm for the year 2018 and also you can insert uh, if you go to the open up the attribute table of this one the shape file and then uh, look at the pm and if you go to the table option create graph you can create a scatter plot that shows the relationship the x for example can be pm the y can be aqi so you can see there is they are highly correlated okay so uh, after that add to legend remove this so it's obvious that if I add a trend line so it's list line which is kind of we already know that so click next and then here you can AQI 
yearly pm yearly so that's or maybe you can add pm 2018 and bottom aqi 2018 and remove the legend finish so you can also copy this legend to your map and make a map of the relationship between aqi and also uh, the pm 2.5 and add the legend north arrow you may also add the histogram showing the histogram is not really necessary i don't think so let's look at the histogram of the aqi statistics so histogram is almost almost normal distribution of the aqi so most of them uh, aqi is between 33 to 38 and also for the pm so we have few counties that have very high pm okay so you can select them we have few sorry stations that have very high pm okay because these are based on the stations right 